Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we are going to show you how to install a front lip on an F30 that has the sport bumper. The lip that we're installing today is from Perpetual Racing Online. If you're interested in one of these for yourself after you see the video, make sure you check the link in the description with the coupon code. Now, when you receive the lip, you'll notice that it's in two parts. So you have the, the support and then you have the actual lip. There's a couple different things that need to happen here. All right, so since these are two pieces, the first thing we need to do is snap them together to make them one solid piece. So as you'll notice, this support, and you'll notice the middle support will line up with the middle one. So you just kind of slide this in here. Pull it apart. Slide that in the middle. Then what you do is you just carefully insert this end here. There's a little notch right here, and then that'll, that'll clip into place. And then go ahead and do the other side. All right, so we have the, the, the middle pretty much lined up, the end down there pretty much lined up. And we'll just put this in here. You may just need to pull the bottom of the lip down so it can go in nice. Okay. okay, so there's that little notch. You just want to make sure that that is sitting completely in there. And then make sure that the other side didn't pop out when you did this side. Okay, so at this point we have the support um, pressed into the lip. Now what we need to do is we need to drill some holes along here. So what I like to do is I like to just get a fastener I'm just going to use this one right here and just put it in the end. The reason for that is so that the middle section here stays completely in line so that nothing is out of a line once we drill the holes. Go ahead and flip it over. All right, so at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to secure the inner support portion here to the actual lip itself. Now you'll notice that there are holes drilled into the support, but not drilled into the actual lip. So we're going to have to do just a little bit of drilling, not really a big deal. So I'm gonna show you how to do it as easy as possible. Now to do this, there's two main ways that people normally do it. You either buy a C-clamp, where you slide the C-clamp on here and then you just put a screw through. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BMW plastic rivets. Basically what happens is you have to drill a hole, you put this in here, and then you use a tool that looks like this. And that'll pull everything and make sure that everything stays locked in place. Um, it's more of a permanent solution. You can get them out by just getting a pick tool and just popping out the center portion and then they come right off but they're not reusable like the style is. All right, so what we have and what we know is that the hole that we have to drill is about that far down. So what I'm going to do is just figure out roughly where we need to be. Just by using my pick tool, I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on here, just like that. And what that tells me is that when I'm centered here, my drill spot should be about right there. So when I push everything into place, I'm gonna drill that hole out. So for this, I am using a 15 64 bit. I'm not sure what the, uh, the metric conversion is, but. Okay, went right through. All right, so now that you've done that, you can either take one of the regular BMW fasteners or you can take one of the rivets, just pop it in that hole. And what you do is you take this tool here and you put it on top. You pull that. Okay. And you can just break that off. And then that'll make sure that that holds that nice and snug. All right, so now that you know how to do that, let's go ahead and uh, do them all. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark them all first. So this one's right here. So I need to be about right there. There's one here. One here. Okay, so that looks like all of the holes we need to drill. Just remember that when you actually go to drill the hole, make sure you push the plastic so that it sits flush. Then you can pop your hole in there. Okay. 
So in here you can see what it's doing. Um, it's just crushing it. What I really like about using these is that it really squeezes it together so you get a really nice tight fit. So sometimes these live a little bit of a tab. What you can do is just take some kind of utility knife and just very carefully, because you don't want to actually cut in here. You can make them flush if you want to. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be under your car, so they might get a little bit scraped up anyway. All right, at this point in the process, you want to make sure that the surface is very clean, so go ahead and take some alcohol. Just want to rub it on there. Make sure that you clean it really good. You want to make sure that the adhesive tape is going to stick correctly, and it's not going to peel or, or fall off or anything like that. Okay, so then go ahead and do the other side. After you've thoroughly cleaned the application area with alcohol, you can begin to line the lip with automotive molding tape. We'll leave a link in the description so you know the exact product that we used. Go ahead and apply two large strips, one across the portion of the lip that will be on top of your bumper, and another strip along the face. If you have any problems with the adhesive sticking, you may need to either sand the area down or use an adhesive promoter. We were able to use the molding tape by itself. The next part of the process is to do the test fit, so go ahead and slip it on the bumper and check the fitment. Okay, so now that you have the lip on and we're doing a test fit, go ahead and look under your car to see where you need to remove the fasteners and where it's going to be fastened. So there, I have one here, I have one over here, and then it's a little out of sight, but I have one just on the end. So it's just three plastic uh, fasteners and it's the exact same on the other side so at this point we can go ahead and slide that lip off now whoever had this car before me absolutely destroyed these and you can see my bumper is pretty messed up on both sides so so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna drill these out it'll just make everything a lot easier now this is very uncommon that you would actually have to drill these out typically as you can see in the picture there's these fasteners and they have a middle pin you simply pull out the middle pin, and then what you do is you go back and you pull out the base. You don't need any special tools. You can do it with a flathead screwdriver or a pair of pliers, and they come right out normally. Okay, so one, two, and then I have a third one here. Again, my bumper's a little bit messed up, but that's okay because the lip's gonna cover a lot of that stuff. So let's go ahead to the other side and do the exact same thing. All right, and just as I thought, I'm gonna have to throw these out as well. All right, and it looks like I do have one that I could do normal so what you do is you pull that center piece out after you've pulled that center piece out go ahead and take your your favorite trim tool and just remove the rest of it now while you're down here it's a good idea to go ahead and clean it up with some uh some, that alcohol rag again as you can see this this bumper is pretty much destroyed so um, the lip is going to make this car just look a whole lot better all right so we've done a couple more test fits and we are ready to install the lip uh, what you want to do is start to peel back some of the backing of your tape you don't have to remove it all the way quite yet and we'll show you why in just a second. Let's go ahead and line up your other side. Line up this side again. Okay, make sure everything looks good on both sides because you pretty much only get one shot at this. Now what you want to do is grab those backings to the tape. Try to put it right where you want it. So I want it to sit right there, I think that's right where it needs to be. And then what you can do is you can just pull these off to the side while pushing in. It's a little bit tricky, especially for that front one. But just keep at it and you'll, you'll get it. Okay. And then what you can do is just go ahead and just push on this for uh, you know, a couple seconds, nothing crazy. Um, today's a really hot day, if you can see all the sweat I'm accumulating. Um, so it should stick pretty good. If you're doing this on a cold day, it might be a little bit more challenging to get it to stick, but it's a hot day today, so no problems with it sticking. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Just peel the backings back just a little bit. With this, I want to really make sure that this corner is going to sit flush. Now 
Now, if you're pulling the tape and you kind of get a little messed up, that's okay. It just happened to me right there. So what you could do is just kind of lift up a little bit. And again, just press it in. Make sure the stick's good. Now, if you're doing this in winter, or it's just a cold day, do it with a heat gun. It's gonna really make sure that everything adheres correctly. All right, so there's two more holes that we need to drill. This is that center support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here and then here. All right, so I've drilled out the holes. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this style. I think these are gonna fit a little bit better. Just make sure that you really press it up. There you go. That's a nice tight fit right there. Make sure that when you're doing this, you're pressing the bumper down and you're pressing the lip up because you want to make sure that you get a really nice tight fit. Um, if you don't want to use rivets or these plastic fasteners, you could always just use screws. It's completely up to you. Now this is kind of the last tricky spot, we'll say. Um, other than that, everything else is just going to plug in as it normally would. But what you need to do is just drill one more hole right in your bumper here and just take another one of these fasteners pop it through and just lock that in place and then just go ahead and do it on the other side as well all right at this point we're going to secure the lower portion of the lip so there's three main locations you have to worry about the first one is right here the second one is right here and the third one is this far end spot now what I found starting at the end spot is first off the diameter of this piece of plastic is a little too big to fit in the hole. So what I originally did is I cut it down and I inserted it, but I still wasn't getting a very good grab from the BMW fastener. Now, when you look at the end of the lip, you'll notice that there is a lower portion and then there is also an upper portion. So what I decided to do is get a zip tie, put it through your bumper, put it through just that top portion. And what you can do, you can just pull that really nice and tight. And just take a knife and cut the rest off. And that just gives you a much better grip than the BMW fasteners we're giving you. Now for these two, they're very simple. Just go ahead and get your fastener, stick it in and press the middle portion in. Do the same thing with this one right here. And everything is a nice firm fit. Go ahead and do the same process to the other side. All right, so here's what everything looks like underneath. Here you can see the two fasteners. Um, I didn't cut most of these little nubs off. I figure, they're, unfortunately, they're probably gonna hit some kind of cement in their life anyway, so I don't really have to worry about them. Um, you can see in the corners here, we installed those fasteners. And then down in the end, you can barely see it, but there's a zip tie that holds the very far end in. Overall, this thing is rock solid and it looks incredible. All right, so at this point, everything is completely installed and I think it just looks incredible. Um, that's why I got it. So it, it comes in a matte black, but you can get it painted, you know, gloss black, or you can have it match your car, you can paint the whole thing. Or what you can do is you can just paint portions. I've seen people where they color match this part right here to their car, and then they leave the bottom black. Um, as far as fitment is concerned, it fits really good, um, as you'll see when you're test fitting it. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky once you get that tape stuck. Um, I do have a little bit of a gap on this side. If that happens to you, what you wanna do is just go ahead while it's still fresh, peel it back, put a new piece of tape on there, and then try to restick it. Again, if you're just in one of these for your car, make sure to check out our link in the description, and make sure you use the coupon code for an additional discount. Again, this is Brian, thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. As always, give us a nice thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.